Right there, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Welcome yet again. Yet again. Welcome to Dr. Fluring's lithium battery building project. It is said that uh, no no plan, no matter how great or good or well thought out and so on, uh, ever survives the, the first contact with reality. It is not maybe not exactly how the saying goes, but something words to, to the, those effects. And such it is uh, also here in Dr. Pluring's uh, in Dr. Pluring's battery building laboratorium. My uh, initial design here was to have, the, yep, th th this is the baseboard, by the way. This is uh, slightly smaller, but only ever so slightly smaller than the compartment in the caravan where this is supposed to be installed. But as we said here last time, I would have the cells lined up like so. I would have a, a clamping or something fixing thing like so, so uh, then this morning uh, I was all uh, you know set for, for going out and, and cutting up wood and so on to, to fit that design uh, but then uh, I, I just went I think I shall double check a few things a few measurements and so on you know measure twice cut once especially when you're nowhere near a carpenter such as myself nowhere near a carpenter I uh, no, no, I'm terrible at uh, this carpenting business anyway. Uh, business, carpenting, hobby. I don't even have carpenting as a hobby, it's just for house needs. Yes, get on with the, with the, the deal. I, mean, I am getting on with the deal, don't rush me, because then you'll not get anything out of me. I just get annoyed. But yeah, the, the initial design idea was to have them like that. But I looked at it a bit and I also discovered one, one significant measurement error I made uh, in, the, in the first here last time around. So that had me thinking what else did I miss and let's just think this over a bit. So the way it would have been, uh, it would not, it would only leave like a little bit, like a few centimeters uh, on the depth or length depending on which term you prefer is really the same thing in this case uh, from from the cells to uh, to the compartment so the cells would occupy like most of this space and uh, I didn't quite like that uh, for some reason so I, I decided to re redesign it and uh, then I've actually done a few a bit of sawing uh, and things so I have yeah, the baseboard is in plywood, some old lacquered um, plywood, but that's what I had, so that's what we went with. But the, what I'm now thinking of doing, these are my little spacers, spacers, yeah, spacers. Well, maybe before, before we get into this, because this will be easier to demonstrate whilst the batteries are out here in the open. Yes, all batteries, cells, really. Okay, if we should be correct about it. let's see if we can find one that is uh, this one for example uh, see I don't have anything that is true straight uh, here now do I maybe I do yeah I do uh, let me just get uh, I'm old I'm, I'm excused for making these noises I'm allowed to make these noise look at this this cell here uh, there you go. You can see it is already. I have not cycled it. I have not uh, neither put a single milliamp here, uh, hour or second or anything into it or out of it. And this is how it is. And I think uh, what happens with this is that they they are manufactured by EVE supposedly. EVE puts them through a a test during manufacturing where I think, I would assume, and they, they almost would have to be uh, clamped down when, when they do the test. 
they decide for some reason that this cell is not fit for uh, uh, certification for going into an electrical ve electric vehicle or, or, or such, a battery vehicle or such. So they get um, sold off to, to a reseller. In this case, uh, in my case, uh, it went to supposedly their official reseller for, for the, the cells that are not. Uh, good enough to go to go into the uh, battery vehicles, and there they do a few things to them. They capacity test them, and as far as I've been able to ascertain, they make the, they do that in in open air, so they are not clamped down when they capacity test them. I they have to fully charge them, and fully discharge them, and then I suppose charge them up, back up again to to whatever state of charge they ship them at. And I'm pretty sure that not, that's not 100%, but I'm also pretty sure that that's not, not, no, not nothing. That has to be somewhere in between. Uh, and I think that that's where the deformation, slight deformation comes from. Uh, they, it's a bit different between the cells, but they, they almost all of them have, have a little bit of this to them. Uh, but this, yeah, if you don't have a, have a clamping force like so, on them, it uh, it decreases the lifetime, or the charge 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 cycle lifetimes by quite a bit, and over the lifetime of the thing. But then I, I'm not entirely sure if if the damage is already done to to a cell like this, or if uh, I, it would stand to reason that that one would at least keep the damages down. By having some sort of force uh, counteracting the expansion and, and contraction of these here whilst being used, then, then again, uh, in the specs, there's a difference of a thousand cycles if you have them open air or if you have them clamped. Uh, but so, so that's like two and a half thousand cycles, I believe, uh, open air or free to move about as they want. Or two and a half thousand complete cycles. I'm going to have a lot to do quite a bit of caravanning before I even get close to that. Uh, regardless or nevertheless or however. Uh, was there anything more you wanted to say? Yeah, I, it's, for, the, for the moment anyway, the, uh, the design idea here is that I will put a bit of clamping force on them, or at least something if not compressing then at least at least you know fixing them in place so, they, so that they won't move about and so on and another thing that at least has uh, taken a few of the cycles in my mind here occupied a few cycles in my mind is the, the, the lifetime of the cell may very well be uh, decreased uh, by the cell allowing to expand uh, without really a force that that uh, opposes that but all right that that will decrease the cell's lifetime but w one thing that worried, worried me a bit wor still worries me a bit about that is the bus bars if they are here and they are solidly bolted onto here even if these expand expand and and, and such and, and that is not good for the cell, but one thing that it really cannot be good for is this here stud, because this stud is welded on uh, not in the factory where they make the cells, but at the reseller, uh, because they are shipped or made without this stud, so it's a it's a bolt hole instead, bolt bolt hole instead rather than, than the stud when they're made, and. Uh, I, I think that if you had a, a really solid bus bar here um, and you'd uh, bolt that on, that if this wants to do, if this wants to do that, or, or this one wants to do that, or something along those lines, and this doesn't have any give in it, that's going to put a lot of stress on these here uh, terminals, isn't it? And that I, I, I really do not like the idea of that. No, really do not like the idea of that. that. That sounds terrible. But these passports, they are actually not that rigid. They're quite quite flexible and 
think I said previously that I don't think that these are copper. I think that these are copper because they, they are not hard to, to bend. And they may, may actually have enough give in them to accommodate for a little bit of, of, of the cells doing this. So, uh, get on with it. Yes. There. This is the current design that, that I'm laying out here. But at least as it stands in in my head for the time being. Uh, see you now there. Uh, so, set one, two, three, four, and five. Halfway around. Currently. Yeah, I suppose so. Uh, six. Or nine, from my perspective now, since, since it is typed up, written upside down. So it's seven and eight, finally. With this here little bit piece of wood, uh, I say something just to, this will not put any force uh, on them uh, of any kind. This is just for 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 yeah for keeping it like so, basically. So there there you go uh, with a little space in between. Uh, currently there is no, nothing in between the cells and uh, also not quite decided just yet if we're going to have that or not. <laughs> One clamping plate or fixating plate there. And I made these out of OSB because that's what I had and these are not that rigid. Uh, well they're not that flexible neither. What, what can it be? I, we, can, we don't have to guess. I have the... Yeah. They are in fact precisely 12 millimeters. And if you want to, 12.2 millimeters, if you want to be that way about it. But uh, 12, I suppose, is, is what they're made as. So, one there, one there. And then I went ahead, uh, I got a little bit ahead of myself today when I then bought. Uh, uh, steel um, tubing, tubing square, steel square steel tubing, uh, 25 millimeters on each uh, side. So I intended to put like a piece of steel tubing there and a piece of steel tubing there, and uh, hole through steel tubing and OSB there in these three places, both down there, there and up here, and then have a um, uh, threaded rod like so, uh, washer and a nut on each side, so I could fix it in place like that. And um, yeah, maybe, I, th I think that this, that will come out pretty solid and everything. Uh, I still am a little bit undecided if I want something in between here or not, maybe. Maybe not. I, I don't know if it matters that much, really. I'm not too worried about this, this here, the cells expanding and so on. Uh, the, the thing that had me worried the most was, uh, was this thing no, not expanding or dealing, contracting, or it doesn't do that. Uh, moving about with the cells, at least. But that, that's, I think that th this will do that. And I also touched uh, in, in the previous video uh, on uh, on connecting the sensing leads for the BMS and that you shouldn't do that onto there and I, I still think that you shouldn't do that onto there but you can still put the nut on there, hold that in place with a nut and then put a ring terminal that goes to, to the sensing lead and then put another nut on it. Isn't that the, like the most easy, simp simplest way to accomplish that? rather than trying to, to drill a hole in here and attach it because there's not enough space on a, such a small bus bar to really do anything like that. But I think, I would think that that's actually one of the places that, that, that you won't, won't have a bus bar. Here I will have a bus bar. 
to the nut first and see how I'm just going to put the nut on. These nuts have this you know, the serrations and things, so that they, they're intended, I suppose, to bite into the bus bar a bit and uh, to keep it keep it there. But then ring terminal and another nut. This, there's not a lot of thread left though. How much thread do we actually have here? Mm -hmm. Can we measure them? Lord? Not a mechanical engineer neither, it would appear. No. Oh, about three, 3.5 millimeters. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's an, it would be enough uh, to get a ring terminal on uh, and then a nut and another nut. Yes, I would rather think so. And of course, uh, then here here or there depending on which way you look at it my, my phone went a little bit low on the battery there or is a little bit low on the battery and it's apparently stopped recording i don't know when it did that but there you go i'm now complaining about the battery management system and that the lug that i have sent with it is an m8 lug whilst this hole is an M6 and this lug uh, it, if I tighten that down there if so, some force gets put put on it it can go as far as there and at least in some position in that position for example that lug will then touch the legs of the MOSFETs <laughs> not a good situation so I have ordered more of this uh, for 16 square millimeter cable uh, M6. Great, now I'm a little bit disheartened that I don't know when I lost the recording. Uh, that was probably ages ago, so you missed out on a lot of my excellent uh, going through here of how, how the battery works. But anyway, so that's the design now, and uh, ow! Yeah, that, that, this is the design now, and tomorrow or in the coming days, I'm going to cut up the steel square square steel tubing I bought, and the threaded rods and everything to be able to make that. If I still want to do this, but I think so. Even though it will be, it add a bit of weight, and the usefulness of actually clamping it or fixating it is may be questionable considered they have already been cycled open air irregardless the, that's the plan and there's then there are a few details to work out just how to route main positive main negative main positive via fuse out to get to be able to get to it when this is all uh, completed completed <laughs> sure and and so on and by via the BMS and everything. But there you go, that, that's where I'm at with it for the time being anyway. Oh, there we go. It's a good thing that these are supposed to be really heavy duty and able to take a beating. Um also quite warm in here now, very warm indeed. This thing is an inferno. There you go. Electricity prices are through the roof, so I'm doing what I can to to help the environment. We're only using biofuels, of course. There you go, birch from sustainable. Everything is very sustainable and good, actually. Here, so there you go. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, so very much for watching installment number two, two of Toko Plurings uh, lithium battery build. Uh, cheerio.